Brian, can Brian, you hear me? Can you hear me? Brian, Brian. Brian, can you hear me? Brian. Brian. Hello, I'm Brian Duffield, and I'm a survivor, a cardiac arrest survivor. Not long ago, I finished a swimming workout here behind me when I collapsed on the locker room floor. I had no warning signs that my heart was suddenly going to stop pumping blood. I exercised daily, was young and healthy, and I'm here today to talk with you because some people acted quickly and gave me a chance to live. What they did to help save me is not difficult to learn. In fact, anyone can do it. It's called compression-only CPR. Compression-only CPR was developed by the University of Arizona's Sarver Heart Center. In my case, it was a high school student who found me when I suffered cardiac arrest and needed help. You never know when it might be you who can help save someone's life. What you will learn in this video is compression-only CPR is approved by the Arizona Department of Health Services Bureau of Emergency Medical Services and Trauma System. People who administer it are covered by the Arizona Good Samaritan Law. It's safe and easy. You don't have to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, just compression-only CPR until emergency medical people arrive. You will learn how your hands are their heart until emergency medical people can take over. We'll be using a pocket CPR training device in this program. It's not something you need to have when giving compression-only CPR. It's just for training purposes. You'll see it here in the center of the chest in this picture. everybody, thank you for coming here today. Today we're going to learn about continuous chest compressions. The first thing you need to remember when you see someone is collapsed is to call 911, and if you're in a public place, call for an AED. Shake the person and shout to see if they're okay. If they're breathing, make sure it seems normal. Gasping and struggling to breathe is obviously not normal. If they're not breathing normal, take your knuckle like this and place it on the person's chest, right on the sternum. Push and rub really hard. You can do it yourself, see how it feels. This is called a sternal rub, and if the person doesn't respond, you need to do chest compressions. So get up on your knees and make sure your arms are vertical to the person's chest. Place one hand over the other, and put the heel of your bottom hand in the center of the person's chest. Push about a hundred times per minute. Remember the force comes from the weight of your body, not from the arms themselves. You can use the pocket CPR metronome to make sure you've got it right. Now remember, your hands are their heart until paramedics arrive. Their body may have stopped pumping blood, so your hands are helping to keep blood flowing throughout their body until the paramedics arrive. Now for every pump, release pressure like this. After every pump, if you get tired, you can trade places with someone else who knows CCC. And if there's an AED available, have someone who knows how to use it, open it, and follow the instructions. So now I'm going to demonstrate using the pocket CPR metronome. Push the button on the side, it turns on. Unit OK. This device will help you perform chest compressions. Shoot the victim and ask, are you OK? Are you OK? 
This is also when you would do the sternal rub right here before doing chest compressions. Place this device on center of victim's chest. Place both hands on top of device. Lock your elbows. Now, start chest compressions, pressing hard and fast with each beat. All right, Mitch, why don't you give it a try? Thanks, okay. Make sure you lock your elbows. Right. I'll start beeping again in a minute. Good job. Thank you. Are there any questions? What is the Good Samaritan Law? The Good Samaritan Law is a law that protects people in every state who provide emergency help from liability. Do people need to be certified? Actually, no, you don't need to be certified to perform continuous chest compressions. Actually, you could go home and teach your friends and family how to do it. So, what exactly is an AED? AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator and it's used by a non-medical person to deliver a shock to the heart if it needs it. Can I do any harm? No. The person's already gone into cardiac arrest, so they're in critical condition. They're not going to get any better on their own, so the only thing you could do is help. Once again, the important things to remember are, if someone has collapsed, call 911. If an AED is available, have someone who knows how to use it open it and follow the instructions. And always make sure the AED is turned on. Shake the person and shout to see if you get a response. If they are breathing, make sure it seems normal. Use the knuckles to rub back and forth on the chest. Make sure you rub hard on the chest. If there's still no reaction, then you'll need to perform chest compressions. Make sure the person is on the floor and get up on your knees so your arms are vertical on the person's chest. Place one hand on top of the other and lock your elbows. Now place the heel of your bottom hand in the center of the person's chest between the nipples. Push hard on the chest about 100 times a minute. Release pressure on the chest when you come up after each pump. If you get tired, you can take turns with someone else who knows continuous chest compressions. It's important to keep pumping until emergency medical assistance arrives. Remember, until medical assistance arrives, your hands are their heart. Brian. Brian. He had a pretty serious emergency. He had a pretty serious emergency. Don't talk, just a minute. Right on this. I was only 40 years old when my cardiac arrest happened. Since then, I've learned that what happened to me can happen to anyone, anywhere, without warning. I hope you'll tell your friends and family about compression-only CPR. Not just tell them, but teach them. It could save a person's life, a person just like me.